Hello, 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 sellers. Come on in. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Come in, come in, come in. And let's talk about kickstarting your eBay sales. And I picked this topic because I'm getting a bunch of messages from sellers that are going, oh, Kathy, I'm so frustrated. I'm listing, I'm sourcing, I'm doing everything I know to do. And my sales are slow. Ah, what can I do? <laughs> so let's get right to this. Um, I'm dating this. Um, this is September of 2023, um, which fast tip. Uh, so first of all, thank you all that listen to me on my Facebook business page. I love to be selling. Um, and also that you listen to me on my YouTube channel. I've got um, well over 8,000 subscribers now. So thank you. Thank you, Kathy Terrell. I love to be selling YouTube. And thank you, podcast people, uh, for downloading my podcast. I really do appreciate it. Um, those of you that are downloading my podcast, Kathy Terrell, I love to be selling. Um, quick tip when you're watching my videos, and this is true for anybody's videos, because I actually heard somebody, um, recommending a tip and it was a very old tip. And this is a quick tip, a quick tip. I'm using the word tip a lot. Um, when you're watching videos, when you're downloading podcasts, the date should be there. So look around, there should be a month and a year on it. And if the tip, particularly for eBay listings, but I'm going to hazard a guess that for Poshmark, it's pretty much the same. Um, and other sites, um, certainly Amazon, certainly social media tips. If it's more than like a year, a year and a half old, it is very likely out of date. This is particularly true for social media tips, but also for uh, listing tips because the algorithms change. So be careful. And when somebody recommends something, um, just, go and check the source. Um, I've heard people recommended, for instance, for selling tips and guess what? They don't sell on eBay anymore. <laughs> they sell on other sites, which is great. Other sites are great, uh, but the information's old and they no longer sell on the site. It would be like somebody giving a Poshmark tip and they don't sell on Poshmark, you know, unless it comes from like their dearly beloved, who is a very, very avid Poshmark seller. So just check the dates, <laughs> make sure the person's selling on the site um, and then listen to them. And then always check for yourself. I'm big on this. Always, always check your information yourself. Because very honestly, some tips you'll find, you know, this works great for me. And somebody else will find this doesn't work for me at all. So like with anything, as you listen, 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 uh, verify the trustworthiness of the source, and then test, test, test. Okay. So let's talk about kickstarting your sales. And the reason I particularly dated this September 2023 is right now is halloween 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 and halloween is a massive retail um a retail event on ebay and everywhere else if you're not aware of this and particularly right now so late september into october and really right up to before halloween uh is people are are, are looking for costumes now i don't i don't think i'm trying to think if i've ever i'm sure i've sold one or two halloween costumes but i don't sell a lot of halloween costumes just the various places that I've sourced, I have never come across like the honey, the honey spot uh, for Halloween costumes. But, and this is what I'm passing on to you to help kickstart your sales. And I'm sure you're thinking, but Kathy, I don't sell Halloween costumes. Why are we talking about Halloween? Is oftentimes you do have things that are useful for Halloween, but you are not thinking of them as a Halloween item and you're missing sales. So if you're facing slow sales, which means you got a little more time on your hands because you're not busy shipping, it's a really good time to look at your inventory. This is clothing for all members of the family. Everybody dresses up for Halloween, including pets. Hello, my pet people. I know you can raise your hands on this. And home decor and yard decor. And I'm going to throw in car decor and bicycle decor. People love to decorate for Halloween. And it's going to be along a bunch of different themes will work for Halloween. So definitely think autumn colors like oranges and blacks and spider webs and spiders and goblins. But Halloween is much bigger and it can help you to move your inventory because that's what we're looking for. We're looking to kick start your sales. How do I kick start my sales? Number one way is you sell people what they want right? This is what they're looking for. Hi, I have one. Here you go. Yay, you got a sale. So look through your inventory and you may not have, for instance, um, 
a superhero costume for an eight-year-old, okay? But you might have things that can be put together as a costume. People for Halloween, yes, they buy costumes right in packages, but they also get very inventive and create their own costumes. I remember the year that my granddaughter was a mouse and mommy took a mouse costume that she got at the store and then she added things to it like she made a wonderful piece of cheese which i thought was great okay so just think of people will buy a costume let's say a pirate or a princess and they will add to it they're going to add the purse they may not like the headpiece that it comes with and they're going to add a headpiece so think about that as you go through your inventory so i'm going to say something like men's men's shirts my husband loves flannel shirts and he loves colorful plaid flannel shirts flannel shirt uh the flannel jackets again the plaid we're thinking plaid is great for dressing up as lumberjacks um if it's a larger man you can dress up as paul bunyan okay so just think about i have this it's not moving and can you add a keyword to the title? And I would sort by your oldest listings, which you can do in Seller Hub and start to go through the clothing. For instance, is it's a pretty party dress? Could the person wear it as a princess? Could the person wear it as a socialite? Glamorous woman, just think about different things, okay? And remember princess is short skirts as well as long skirts. If it's a long black dress, is it Portisha, Morticia, I can say things, right? Morticia from the Adams family. So long black dress, short party dress, men's lumberjack, as far as like a plaid shirt, accessories. And this is big in New York because what happens in New York is people love to go to Halloween parties um, and there might be an office Halloween party at the office and people don't want to wear a full costume. This is New York City, um, but also in the suburbs, I bet this is true. So they don't want to be driving in their car, you know, in full costume as whatever. Um, so what they go for is an accessory. And I've seen this for New York City. So they'll have like regular office wear, but they'll have a flamboyant boa, a big hat. Think of cowboy hats. There's a lot. I was going through some souls that I'm going to show you. Things like cowboy hats, because you could be cowboy girl, cowboy guy, right? Cowboy hats. Um, lariats, I'm thinking around the neck. I hope I'm using the right term. Lariats around the neck. Bandanas, okay? Ladies, scarves. There's a lot of things you can do with scarves, because some might dress up their bag, like have it look like fun. And don't forget the huge influence of Barbie this past year. So look at all the pink. You know, they might do sort of a pink Barbie sort of motif. But think about it. Look at the long dresses. Look at the short dresses, accessories. Sherlock Holmes, do they have a magnifying glass? Do you have a hat, a deer stalker type hat? Okay. Um, I was thinking tape measures just because as sellers, we always have so many tape measures around. They could be a seamstress. You think about it. There's the obvious ones like superheroes, you know, princesses and stuff. But even with them princesses, do you have any crowns? Do you have headpieces? And I was going through, medieval is huge. So look at your items. Is anything like lace up? Is it medieval, medieval headpieces, um, medieval things that could be styled with medieval jackets? Take a look at the shoes. Sometimes people will just wear really, really interesting shoes and that's their costume. Look at purses, look at bags. And if it's something, um, let's say it's black, and, it's, it's black and white spots. So it could be cow. So again, for the person, just say also, you know, cow vibe, you know, something like that if somebody wants to have fun. Because a lot of times for Halloween, people will just pick a really interesting accessory and that's their Halloween costume. Or again, they bought a costume um, and they want to add to it. So you'll look at it. Do I have any flannel shirts? This could be lumberjack, outdoorsmen. Um, do I have something um, that could be redone? For instance, um, delivery. And I've seen this in New York, by the way. People dress as pizza delivery guys, right? You know, is is there something where they would they would dress as pizza delivery? Uh, they would dress as a doctor. 
that's a fun one um, to source, particularly a thrift stop, thrift store. Say that one fast. Uh, the doctor's coats, the scrubs. Are your scrubs not moving that you sourced and you thought would sell like in two seconds? They're perfect for Halloween costumes. So you can even say nurses scrub, doctor's coat could be Halloween costume. eBay pulls item specifics from your title and your item specifics. And remember our goal is to kick start your sales. So go through the kids stuff, your pet stuff, your home decor, your adult items, as far as like men's stuff, women's stuff. Is there anything with um, your adult men and women with your kids, with your teens, with your dogs, with your kids, items that make a great Halloween costume or Halloween accessory or can be used to make one. And I wanted to show you. So what I did was, and you can do this, um, Terapeak's great. I didn't even use Terapeak. I just did advanced search souls. And I did Halloween costumes women. And I sorted by most recent sold. And there's over 5,000, by the way. So definitely we got this um, Barbie thing going on. Look at this adult ladybug, super cute. Do you have any red and black uh, polka dot thing that could be included in a ladybug costume, right? You'd say perfect for ladybug costume. Okay, we're gonna keep going. There was a lot of um, Aladdin sort of things like sexy, uh, sexy female um, Aladdin type costume. So again, is it a top? that could be used for an Aladdin type costume? Are there uh, pants or leggings that could be used for a Halloween type costume? And again, look at your stuff. You gotta think outside the box on this. I loved this mermaid tail skirt, right? Do you have anything fun like that? Also keep your eye out. Man, I would jump on this in a second. I just think it is adorable. Um, okay, Disney Nightmare, obviously Disney. Captain Marvel, yep, back to our superheroes. But on the subject of superheroes, do you have capes? Capes are huge. I see capes all the time in Halloween here in the city. So think not only just for kids, right? Kids have capes, you know. My grandson loved his cape. He would walk around in his um, Batman costume with the cape, and it's because he loved his cape. <clears throat> Don't forget that, too, with the, um, the Halloween stuff. If you see things marked down, um, you know, do your research and everything. But parents buy costumes for kids year round because a lot of kids love to play dress up uh, play costume all year long. So if it's a fun, fun, fun costume, fun cape, it's going to sell all year long. Don't forget grown up capes. Opera capes are great accessories for guys. OK, and for ladies, ladies with the capes, too. But I particularly notice capes are great for the gentlemen. Um, so keep an eye out if you see some capes and capes are sort of funny if they're in a thrift store or whatever. Um, sometimes they'll literally just sort of throw them in a, in a sort of like a, a box thing. If, if in your thrift store, they throw things in boxes for you to go through or if they're hanging on a shelf or hanging on a rack, they don't really know where to put them. So sometimes they'll be in with shirts. Sometimes they'll be in with jackets. So keep an eye out and capes that are lined. Think Dracula <laughs> are fantastic. OK, if it has a really cool lining. So keep an eye out for that, because, again, hanging on um, the rack or the hanger or whatever, you might just see sort of this black blob. But if you open it, wow, it might have a red lining or some cool lining. So keep an eye out for cool grown up capes. Also fun stuff for kids. OK, we've got. Oh, and I noticed with this that we've got adorable gypsy costume, which I thought was fun. But notice some really cool bodice on this. And down here, California costume, Red Riding Hood. What I noticed going through the salts on costumes was um, for the ladies, quite a few of the costumes with corsets. OK, and corsets are big in, in um, women's lingerie anyway. But if you've got some cool corsets and they're not moving. OK, remember, this is kickstart your eBay sales. Consider retitling them and titling them corset. You know, you've got your title, but free up some of your keywords, say Halloween costume. OK, and then because you want eBay search to pick it up and it's going to pick it up in your title and then also in your item specifics. OK, so look at that. How can this be used? Can this piece of clothing, shirt, jacket, pants, shoes, socks, right? Can it be used for a Halloween costume for a grown up, for a kid, for a pet? 
right? If you got some really cool um, doggy jackets that would be really, really fun for a Halloween costume, absolutely. You know, be sure to get it up there in the keywords, again, in the title, in the item specifics. Why? Because I want to get my stuff sold. Cha-ching! I want to wake up my listings and repurposing, getting great keywords in that are relevant. We don't be sticking Halloween in titles for things that aren't relevant for Halloween costumes, right? But you think about it, how could this be used? Great workman's overall, you're dressed as <clears throat> a car mechanic for Halloween or something like that. So remember that the bib overalls, the jean overalls that are so in are great. I'm going to be dressed up as a farmer or a scarecrow, okay? So again, just be thinking, how could this be used as a Halloween costume? Why do I want to be using the keywords Halloween, Halloween costume, scarecrow for Halloween, uh, Dracula cape, Dracula cape, in addition to opera? Because I want to get it sold and get picked up with eBay search. eBay opens almost here. I've got a great tip sheet for you for eBay open. It helps you map out what is best for you, for your business and attending. And what you're going to do is you're going to hop over to my website. I love to be selling. It's completely free. It's the seller success um, guide. You're going to love it. Um, and it's going to help you navigate all the way through eBay Open, your seller success checklist for eBay Open 2023. And if you're listening to me um, after, during eBay Open or after eBay Open, grab it because it'll help you navigate through the recordings because there's a lot of information and information that you want to digest. But right now to kickstart those sales, go through and look at what things that you can repurpose to get your sales going and to bring in the Halloween shoppers to your listings. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Bye-bye everybody.